Elias, Local 5's Blitz Game Day is going live from Ireland this morning. Elias, how are you doing? Doing pretty good because I've got some friends behind me. They're going to help us get ready and get going for the high school football season because it's not just the season for the football players and for all the sports going on. It's also the start of the season for the pep band as well who uh, get a chance to get everybody going in the stands and then hopefully a good halftime show tonight. Ms. Weber, nice enough to get the band here early and, uh, and going. How many members do we have in the pep band this year? Uh, they're just shy of breaking 50. There's 47 of them back there. And I see some, some of these folks also play sports as well. I see some jerseys in the crowd. And so mm -hmm. these are, they're, they're making the gap. They're bridging the gap there. You don't just have to choose one or the other, right? Absolutely. That's the best part about teaching in a small school. How many of you play at least one or if not two other sports? Oh, wow. There so, you go. See, we got most of them also participate in athletics as well. Mm -hmm. How exciting is it for you to get to work with these kids? When did you start working with them to, to start the school year? So this is my second year here. We had our band camp back in August. We are lucky we're going to get one rehearsal this morning, and we're going to wow you with what we can do in two rehearsals on the field tonight. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and let the, uh, the band take it away. This is the pride of the Cardinal uh, pep band here uh, playing, and then the cheerleaders as well over there. Quite like the pet band at a football exactly. game. Exactly. Yeah, it, it kind of uh, it, life is good. Let's just say that life is is perfect right now here in the band. That's right. Did you ever get a chance to play in the pet band? I did not play in the pet band, but I did play on the field, so they were a big part of our success out there. Yeah, I uh, I played marching band in, in middle school. Okay. And so Clay on the snare drum back there, I kind of tempted to take the sticks and uh, give it a whirl. Maybe we'll do that uh, here a little later I after the show. I think we done. should see that. After the show's okay. done. All right. uh, but again, it should be wonderful weather out here in Earlham for folks tonight. Should be pretty good weather depending on where you're at. And as Taylor said, you definitely want to uh, download that We Are Iowa app because the, most of these games are going to be packed tonight. These are non-district games. Mm -hmm. Most of them across the state is how people start them off. And uh, really, Earlham nothing to lose playing the state champions. This is a great resume builder. Yeah, nothing to lose, absolutely. Uh, being so close a year ago, one point game, they wanted to get that. And to think Van Meter went undefeated last year. And Earlham could have began the season last year with a win there. So, yep. you know, hindsight's 2020, but we'll see what they can do this and time. And they around. were right on the bubble, Earlham, last year for making right. the playoffs and making a run. Van Meter and Earlham, for those of you keeping track on a map, not very far <laughs> apart. These are communities that, uh, you know, someday with uh, the sprawl may actually connect someday. <laughs> and I think, uh, you know, Earlham, Brad Edwards knows something about the uh, community of Earlham, <laughs> his hometown here. Yes. So we know who he's rooting for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> So he'll have uh, your most accurate forecast as well as Taylor. We got you covered. It's Blitz Game Day. High school football's back. And as Matt said, life is good. We got more coming your way. Stay with us because we've got to pick them up. All right, stay with us. <laughs>